The Climax Scots football team kicked off the Labor Day holiday weekend with a 32-12 SCAA road win over Pittsford Thursday. The Panthers enjoyed another strong effort on the ground, racking up 286 yards rushing with Michael Massey's 157 yards on six carries leading the way. CS got on the scoreboard first on a Michael Massey 44-yard touchdown run with 9.47 left in the opening quarter. Trevor Haas ran in the two-point conversion. Massey, who enjoyed a 92-yard touchdown run in the season opener at Cannon Frontier, nearly duplicated the feat with a 91-yard scamper just 19 seconds into the second quarter. Andrew Shaw tossed a pass to Trevor Haas for the two-point conversion and a 16-0 CS lead. Stephen Williams gave his team a 22-0 advantage with a 16-yard touchdown run with 6.18 left in the first half, and then the Panther Jr. hooked up with Tanner Graham on the two-point conversion, giving CS a 24-0 halftime lead. Pittsburgh came back with a touchdown at the 8.29 mark of the third quarter on a 15-yard run up the middle, but the two-point conversion failed. The Wildcats threatened to pull within two touchdowns after a 55-yard pass play put Pittsburgh on the CS 5-yard line, but Robert Lipscomb came up with a big fumble recovery with 4.13 left in the quarter, preserving CS's 24-6 lead after three quarters, which CS coach Kevin Langs felt was a big moment in the game. Huge. That was huge. Because they, after we, uh, you know, after we fumbled it, or they got that long pass and, on 3rd and 10, and then... Yeah, I thought that was, uh, thought that was key. Haas scored on a four-yard burst up the middle with 5.52 left in the game, and then Tyler Wynn ran in the two-point conversion, making the score 32-6. Pittsburgh scored its final points at the 3.34 mark of the fourth quarter on a six-yard touchdown run following a 40-yard pass play. Haas added 68 yards on nine carries for CS, which accumulated 286 yards rushing and 62 yards passing. Jeremiah Longman piled up 16 tackles to lead a CS defensive charge. Andrew Shaw and Peter Gross each had seven tackles, and Robert Thompson had five tackles. CS seniors John Kellogg and Andrew Shaw said after engaging in some memorable tough battles with Pittsburgh over the years, winning their final game at Pittsburgh adds to a long list of special memories in their high school football careers at CS. It means a lot. Uh, you know, they're our rivals, one of our rivals, so... Coming here, all, uh, all the diversity, you know, they played hard, they played tough, but we got it done tonight, so. Well, it's always fun playing Pittsburgh. Um, they're always really physical, so you get to enjoy. Um, kind of brings back memories of the scrimmages. Um, they're always really physical, and um, the atmosphere of Pittsburgh is always kind of cool. You got the baseball field in the background, and you had the, the dungeon locker room, we call it, with uh, the water leaking. And, <laughs> It's always pretty fun playing at this room. We call camp. it the dungeon. The dungeon. That last time in the dungeon, that's the locker room. And even on the, sta on the sideline, you, you're right in the, you might as well be sitting in the stands. Yeah. But in the locker room, we call it the dungeon. It's, you know, what, somewhere like 2003, there was a bat hanging from the door. We had just, it's 19, built 1920, 1939. That's what you feel like you're going into. Wow. So we kind of enjoy that time. Yeah. CS coach Kevin Langs felt his team enjoyed some positive moments on both sides of the ball against a talented and physical Pittsburgh squad. Yeah, I mean, that's a tradition. When you come to play Pittsburgh, you'd better have your helmets all four snapped on because people are going to get hit. And I thought, you know, I give uh, Pittsburgh a lot of credit, but boy, our kids fought hard. That first half, we played some, we, you know, they, they ran the ball 33 times from our 15. Mm -hmm. So our defense was on the field a lot, had to stay in there and be tough. and. Um, and our kids rose up. We still made some, you know, some mistakes, I think, not being mentally ready at times. But you know what? We're teenagers, and uh, Lord willing, we get a little better. Now the Panthers will face Bellevue in their home opener Friday, an event that is always special at CS. Oh, it's going to be a blast. We, we, all, we can't wait to be home. You know, we've been away two games in a row, so it's going to be great. Good. Um, well, away games, you don't really get the, the crowd emotion. It's not as loud. It doesn't. It doesn't really. It doesn't bring a smile to my face. Every, but at home, you just you see everybody in the stands. And it's, it's awesome. Yeah. It does. It's it's just a neat place. You know. Even look right now. Look how many people. We're the last people on the floor. You know, we're the last people to leave this place. So uh, you know, and a home opener special. You know, we know about the crowds and people trying to get there. And, and so we're looking forward to 
to performing in front of our family and friends. Yeah. Reporting live from Pittsburgh, this is Scoop for www.theclimaxcrescent.com.